Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Javorik. Make sure to be a quick video on the Vikings for one year, $35 million, keeping around their quarterback who went for 33 and 7 TD, the interception ratio last season, Kirk Cousins. They keep around Kirk Cousins. Maybe he's still going to stay around to develop, help develop Kellen Mond, or they're draft somebody who's the next successor to him in this draft so he can help be there to help develop that person. Cousins has always been an interesting commodity as a quarterback. When he came in uh, with the Redskins as a former first round pick or as a former fourth round pick excuse me in the draft that a uh, fellow quarterback RG3 um, was a first round pick and Kirk Cousins was able to then take the job because of injuries years later be successful with Washington and then go on to have obviously good success numbers wise with the Vikings and really pretty good regular seasons even eyesight-wise, because I'm somebody that, again, I mentioned in other things, but tends to go by what you see um, and then goes by the numbers as a supplement to the eye test. That's just the way I am. But eye test-wise, even in the regular season, Cousins has been fine. He's not he's been a great quarterback. He's been somebody that's like in the middle of the pack. But that's fine if you have a good team around him. It's just Zimmer never really seemed like the greatest coach for him. We'll see uh, how they do now um, with the new coach in town. It Minnesota, but when it comes to Kirk Cousins, he's solid at getting the ball down the field. He's pretty good at controlling interceptions. Last year had a very good season with only 70 at 13 the year before, so he almost cut his interceptions in half. Uh, but it's going to be interesting with Cousins, uh, what he's able to do since Kevin O'Connell, the former Rams offensive coordinator, is now with the Minnesota Vikings. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what he's able to do with Kirk Cousins, a more obviously offensive-minded head coach. So we'll get to see if he's able to get more out of Kirk Cousins as well, who, again, in conclusion, has always been a good stat compiler guy, a guy that's always had good regular seasons, but never has really been able to get over the hump in the end. And in clutch time when it comes to the postseason, usually tends to falter, but maybe Kevin O'Connell and his type of offense, maybe aerating it or opening it up a little bit more, spacing it out a little bit more, will help Kirk Cousins, but we'll have to see over time. Overall, he's been a good quarterback in his career. Hasn't been great, but that's we'll have to see if be him being good and not being great, if the Vikings can get good enough around him with Kevin O'Connell, they can actually win with him. But we'll have to see. Either way, they're keeping him around for one more year, at least $35 million bucks. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a quick video on the Vikings re-signing Kirk Cousins.